everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. My first guest tonight is the Academy Award-winning actor you know from so many of your favorite movies like The Shawshank Redemption, The Dark Knight, Million Dollar Baby, and more. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Mr. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, what a pleasure. Yes, sir. Very nice to see you, Stephen. It's nice been a while. You. We had... I, I, I mean, up close and personal. This is the first time we, you haven't been on a little bit. This is the first time I've spoken to you since the pandemic hit. You're looking hale. You're looking hearty. How, how has it been for you? It's been, it's been really terrific. I hate to say that, but it's really been terrific. My lady and I have been uh, nestled down here on the Gulf Coast, isolated to the nines, and having a good time. So this whole thing has gone very quickly, and uh, I've not suffered now, uh, I'm not surprised you're down on the Gulf Coast because I just learned something I did not know about you that I bet a lot of people don't know is that you're an avid sailor. Here's a picture of you as a young Morgan Freeman about to set to sea in a leather jacket, which I find daring at sea. How did you get started sailing? Oh, boy. In 1967, I was working in Stowe, Vermont. Some of us you know about that. Sure. And... Uh... The guy who was the head of Stowe Prep came into a house and house I was in one morning and said, you want to go sailing? I was uh, with a couple of friends and we said, sure. Never sailed before, but what the heck? And uh, that was it. He took us out to this little reservoir, put us on this little 19-foot boat, and said, do you, you ever sailed before? No. Said, where well, do you get the hang up? This is, this is the jib, this is the mainsail, this is the rudder. He pushed this way. He said, you'll get it. So we spent the day in that little reservoir pushing that little boat off of sandbars and out from under getting the mass thing out and tangled some trees. But I was hooked, totally. I, I haven't done a lot of sailing, but I've done, um, I've done some very big sails. I've done some open ocean uh, racing. Have you, have, you done, have you done like big ocean sailing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, not racing. I, my racing was always round the buoys they would do on the, we would do on the weekend. But, sure. uh, yeah, my first ocean voyage was in my 30-foot sloop and we sailed from uh, Cape Cod to um, Nova Scotia. So my, my navigating was with the sex and all that. And I thought I was on the east coast of Nova Scotia, but I was on the West Coast, Nova Scotia. Um, what did you, anything at your life at sea teach you about your living your life on land? Because I certainly learned to really appreciate an actual toilet. Is there anything that you learned at <laughs> sea that you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna appreciate the land a little more now? No, as a matter of fact, I, I didn't get to where I appreciated the land more, uh, Stephen. Uh, I. Being at sea was just uh, just a magic thing for me. It's really magic, and I had some of the most incredible sights and experiences, and some long sails. It was great. Any big storms? I had a big storm in uh, October of 1979. I sailed my little sloop, that little 30-footer, to uh, Bermuda, and spent about I don't know. Four weeks down there, four or five weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was on my way back to New York in October. Hurricane and season. it hit my survival storm. Wow. Well, how, how long did you have to ride it out? Not very long. Uh, it hit at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Uh, I had to run eastward. It was from an out, right out of the west. So I had to run eastward for 26 hours. <laughs> and then it debated. Wow. 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 I can imagine on the other side of that, you're a different man. Well, you've learned something about yourself. Uh, I promise you. Well, you have a new show now, uh, Solos. It's seven episodes, each starring a different actor. The cast includes you, Anne Hathaway, Helen Mirren, many other people. We have a clip right here. Can you... Can you tell us what's going on in this clip? Uh, I think uh, I've decided to dance. 
because my memory is returning, but this kid has given me some sort of electronic jolt and it's bringing back memories that I have sort of alzheimically put aside. Jim? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, look, look at me. Look at me, man. I can amble. <laughs> I can I mean, My muscles remember. My bones reacquaint. <laughs> look. I can dance. Soft shoe. Tap. Jazz. Macarena. Yeah. Electric slide. Oh, yeah. And what you do? Watch me whip. Oh, yeah. And watch me nae nae. The, the, the episode treats memories like treasured possessions. Do, do you have a, 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 a most treasured memory? I, I don't know if I can call it a most treasured. It's the one that sticks with me. I was six years on my sixth birthday. My 84th is coming up in about no time. But I, this, this moment, this day, this morning, I remember as if it was a magic time. So I was with my grandmother and I woke up, came out of the house and she was in the yard doing something with a broom or a hoe. And uh, I don't know, whatever she said to me made me feel like, yeah, I'm special. This is my day. Yeah. But before we before we go, there are so many uh, wonderful Morgan Freeman movies, so many beloved films. What is Morgan Freeman's favorite Morgan Freeman film? Anything I did with Clint Eastwood. Unforgiven. Uh, Unforgiven. Uh, Million Dollar Baby, and he directed Invictus. Mm -hmm. uh, that may be my most standout movie. You know, a lot of people would have said uh, Shawshank Redemption. And I, I was telling Tim Robbins when he was on the show, I've never seen Shawshank Redemption. And I said to him, I think I know. That's what he said. And I said, I think I should watch Shawshank Redemption. I want to watch it with you and Tim Robbins. Can I, could the three of us watch it together? And then we could talk about it? You arrange that, I'm in. That's it. That's it. You hear that, Tim? Morgan's in. Well, Solo's I'm premieres in. Friday I'm on Amazon Prime. Morgan Freeman, everybody. Morgan, thanks so much for being here. We'll be right back with comedian Tignataro.